Hey, what's going on, guys? I've done some more research on Jesse Leroy Brown and his sacrifices. And as I've said before, when Jesse Leroy Brown became a full-fledged naval aviator within his squadron and on the aircraft carrier that he served on, the aircraft carrier was named, name was the USS Leyte, a lot of racism and bigotry and prejudice had disappeared for him in that specific area and in that specific squadron, okay? And... One of the reasons that that happened was he had a captain from Mississippi, a Caucasian man from Mississippi, named Thomas U. Sisson, Jr. And Thomas U. Sisson, Jr. was a naval aviator. He commanded the ship, the USS Leyte. He was a naval aviator. That's what he did, and he protected all his pilots. He was very protective of all his pilots, and he made sure none of the officers, none of the NCOs, none of the enlisted people, no one on that ship, harassed Jesse Leroy Brown. He made sure of that. Jesse Leroy Brown did very well in the squadron the USS Leyte and was promoted on the basis of merit, and Thomas U. Sisson Jr. made sure of that. And there's a lot of evidence that he recommended Jesse Leroy Brown's close friend, Thomas Hudner, for the Congressional Medal of Honor. Thomas Hudner did everything he could to try to save the life of Jesse Leroy Brown, but unfortunately, it just didn't work out, and the good Lord called Jesse Leroy Brown home at a very young age, at 24 years of age. And Thomas U. Sisson Jr. was from Mississippi, and color did not matter to him. And this is an example of African-American Caucasian camaraderie that happened between Mississippians back in 1950. And at that time, it was a pretty rare case, but it happened. And I was... Happy to hear all that. Happy to research all that. So God bless Captain Thomas U. Sisson Jr. He is definitely an unsung hero in the Jesse Leroy Brown story. And the reason I firmly believe that we don't know a lot about Thomas U. Sisson Jr. is because during that time, a lot of racist press and media would not give somebody like Thomas U. Sisson Jr. a lot of coverage, not in the local news. Because they, a lot of times during that time, they would not want somebody, the press and media in Mississippi would not want somebody to treat uh, an African American on those fair grounds, on to treat them fairly, to treat them with dignity and respect. That was just not popular at that time. But Thomas U. Sisson Jr. did, and I firmly believe that he did the right thing. We need to correct an injustice and tell people about him. So God bless Thomas U. Sisson Jr., God bless Jesse Laura Brown, God bless Thomas Hudner, God bless all of them. And God bless everybody in Jesse Laura Brown's squadron aboard the USS Leyte. And his fighter squadron, everyone loved Jesse Laura Brown. So God bless all of them. And this needs to be corrected. And I was happy to research it, and I'm going to correct it, and I'm going to speak out about it. I just am because... Those guys, Thomas U. Sisson Jr. and Jesse Laura Brown, were both heroes. They protected our country. I love my country. This is my country here, USA. And they also kept my second home, South Korea, safe. Kept it free from communism. I'm going to tell their story. I firmly believe a lot of people need to. So anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless and bye-bye. Bye-bye.